Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how do you convert a data table to upper or lower case. For example, in my sheet 1 of the Excel, I have this data. Now look at the column B or the customer name column. Here if you see, here O is capital. Here, you know, this is not written in a proper case. For example, Emily E is in lower case. Uh, Martin White is, no, it is not in a proper case. I would like to convert in this data table, I would like to convert uh, this entire data table, okay, in, in entire data table, uh, targeting a single column, a specific column, let's say, I'm targeting a specific column and I would like to convert that to uppercase or lowercase. Okay, so how to do that? Let's see in this video. For this, let's go to UAPA Studio and uh, let me type Excel in the activity panel and drag and drop the Excel process scope first and then I'm dragging and dropping the use Excel file inside this. Then it is asking me to select the Excel file which contains the data. Uh, so it is there in this file fine now the very first activity we will do is we will try to read the uh, excel file okay so we'll use a read range activity drag and drop and here in the range activity you can click on the plus sign excel and then it will automatically populate sheet one so i've selected sheet one and let me store this value to a variable called dt1 hit on enter and this dt1 has a data type of data table if you see okay so once you have read now here is the main logic okay how will you target this specific column and convert it to a lower case that is the main trick now for this we will use a for each row activity Okay, uh, I'll go with for each row in data table, okay, because we are having DT1, right? So I'm using for each row in a data table activity. You can also go with for each Excel row, Excel, you know, all these things are there. I'll go with a row in data table, and here I am going to pass the DT1 variable. Getting it? So I have passed the DT1 variable here. Once the DT1 variable goes, what would happen? It will iterate through current row. See, current row is nothing but representing your data table. Okay. Inside this, I am going to use a assign activity. Drag and drop the assign activity. Here on the left hand side, what you have to write and on the right hand side, value to save, what you are going to write. This is very important. So, first of all, let me click on two variable. Okay. Save two. Here, the current row represents our data table, right? So, current row and in the bracket within double quotes, I am going to write the column name. You can also use an index number like one you can do. I will go with the column name, okay? And I am going to hit on OK. All right. Now, on the right hand side, let me open this value. Here is the expression I am going to write that is nothing but pretty simple one. I will say current row. We can copy paste that exact thing, okay? This one so that you don't have to rewrite. Control A copy. In the set values, I'll go and here I am simply pasting this. The same thing, okay? Dot to string. What I am doing? I am saying dot to string dot to lower dot to lower pretty simple expression okay and i'm going to click on okay so what would happen now on the right hand side it is going to pick the first uh, value of the column we are mentioning the column right customer name is the column do you see we are mentioning understanding this is important okay look at it so here Let me expand it a little bit. Okay. So here what we are doing, 
current row customer name so that means it is targeting this particular column when the loop is running first it will pick this 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 like this it will go right the first one we are targeting it will pick the james taylor once it picks james taylor dot to string will convert it to dot to string then convert that string to two lower pretty simple and the final output of this lower value will come and store in cust current row customer name that means in the same cell it is going to store that it is going to automatically write to the dt1 okay so it, it is going to automatically write to dt1 no need to write anything or use any other activity after this it is automatically going to update in the dt1 okay now how do i get a proof or proof of the values pretty simple let's use a output data table drag and drop after for each loop okay so here everything is done so it will automatically going to convert everything and the final output will be there in dt1 so here i am what we are going to do i am going to convert this using output data table to a text format so let me create a variable dt1 data table text hit on enter so i have created a variable called dt1 text okay now let's use a message box you can write it to an excel file also that also you can do i'm simply writing it to a message box dt1 save it run it now let's see okay let's see how the values are coming we'll keep the excel file in the background okay so the execution has started the message box will populate okay okay sorry i made a small mistake here in the message box you have to write the output of data table right dt1.txt so dt1 text you have to write okay save it and run it so let's see the output okay now you can see if you focus on this particular window uh, james taylor peter brown everything has been converted to lower case now the same thing if you like to convert this to upper case all you have to do simply write dot upper right so here in the syntax go here um, to the set value and instead of two lower you will simply say to top click on okay now let's run this once again okay let's see this is i'm not writing back to excel okay i'm simply showing you so the dt1 variable has got the output now what is the output it is everything is is in upper case okay so you have learned how do you convert a data table to upper in ui path or how do you convert that to a lower in ui path now let me do one thing let how about writing it to an excel file you know i want to write it to the same excel file pretty simple let's delete this and here i am going to use write uh, data table to excel okay this is the activity drag and drop after for each loop okay it is not inside the for each loop outside here what what to write so i want to write the entire data table where do you write destination so select this click on the plus sign excel sheet 1 okay sheet 1 or let's write the output in some other sheet no that's a sheet 4 okay i am going to delete this let me write it in the sheet 4 the output you can also write it in the sheet 1 let me select sheet 4 done then save and then let's run it let's see the output okay done let's go back to sheet 4 expand this little bit now you can see everything has been converted to uppercase 
okay only this column now the question will be how do i target all the columns you know all you do repeat this you know whichever columns you need continue to repeat all the columns in a data table and do it all right guys so thank you thank you very much for watching this video we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye